back in this place we're back in this place oh my gosh i haven't been in this like firstly my videos on here are very inconsistent but hopefully that's gonna change um a girl is finally thinking about moving to the abroad and that's just a very scary thought um for many years 18 since i was like 18 i was like guys i'm trying to move out of this country and everyone's like where are you going <laughs> but actually it just feels like now is the right time to do that my current role is a contract role and it ends in august and i'm like okay cool scary as that sounds i have enough time to save and make sure that i'm good to go wonderful where would i go uganda because that's where my heart knows that's where my heart loves and also i have a project that is out there in uganda that i feel like it's time for me to just go and step into and actually be a part of i have been doing a lot of research into that particular project and understanding how partnerships work and working with other people whether that's ministries community members churches um to make sure that we continue working on this project to raise awareness and support the deaf community in uganda so now that i actually have the headspace and the ability to move i am terrified this time last year i was telling everybody around me like enjoy me now because i'm moving next year i was prophesying i was declaring and i had no idea what i was prophesying and declaring into but this is it the reality is i have a place where i can go and stay in uganda i have a place where i can call home i have family out there i have friends i have a community and can make a community and I've seen other people do it, okay? That's another thing. But the other thing is, if it doesn't work, I can come home. Like, this is home, you see? All of this, all of this is home. I can come home. I have zero responsibilities at this point in my life. Well, all my responsibilities per se would have ended by the time I travel. So what's stopping me? A grappling sense of fear. <laughs> Fear has got me in a chokehold. Fear has got me in a chokehold. The words of people and the comments of um, Ugandans who are from Uganda who detest Uganda. <laughs> but also some people who just know the reality of living in Uganda and the challenges that can come with it. And they've been there and they know the struggles of being in a bank and somebody walking straight past you and disrespecting you and just those nuances that are specific to Uganda that are challenging for someone who has come from a different environment and I respect that so I am going to keep my mouth shut I'm not gonna tell too many people because the fact of the matter is people can actually talk you out of moving into your next step and these are people who have responsibilities they have kids they have a mortgage they have car payments they have they can't just up and leave whereas i can <laughs> i can up and leave and i can up and leave again if it doesn't work out there but what if it does my friend said to me this weekend but vanessa if it doesn't but what if it does and this is where my faith comes into play because I've actually been praying about this. I've been asking God, like, what is the next step for me? How do I move from this? I've tried to apply for jobs. The jobs air me. <laughs> they be airing me. They don't get back to me. So I'm like, okay, cool. August is now. Let's be near. Okay, let's be real. August is practically tomorrow. And if I am not in a job by then then what is holding me here? Like, I love my friends and family, but we praise the Lord for the internet. Y'all can reach me. In fact, I'm giving you a holiday destination. You have a place to stay for free, okay? <laughs> How about that? Like, I think it's time for me to take this step in faith. I've done the research. In fact, if, as we speak right now, I'm contacting different people. I'm like, guys, how did you do it? You've moved to Sierra Leone. You've moved to Nigeria. You've up and left and went to Kenya. How and why did you do it? What is the thing that kept you going? What was your driving force? Please tell me because I want to know. I want to learn. And then we're going to go from there. There's so many things I want to do. I want to create those partnerships with Siloam 256. 
I want to make sure that I can still empower my people and my community. I want to make sure that I continue to use my work with Miss Uganda UK to actually encourage a generation that is coming up after me. I want to be able to speak in schools and share the message of disability inclusion. I want to make a difference. I don't want to just go to be living like a gentle, soft life. Yes, there's going to be work involved. Yes, it's going to be challenging. But it's also going to be a different type of life. People in Uganda take life a bit easier than here. There's all this rush rushing. Every day rush, 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 run, run. Slow down. I just need a slower environment for a bit. I may complain about that later, but we're not going to talk about that right now. We're not. So join me on this journey as I work out what the heck it is that I am doing, as I pack my bags in faith and head over to the motherland, as I, um, we're actually doing this scary. Yeah. <laughs>